What's up YouTube, this is JP Train Cards here, and today I'm bringing you guys my first Pokemon deck profile. So, I'm bringing you guys a Decidueye Arcanine deck profile. Yes, Decidueye Arcanine. I'm pretty sure that has never been done on YouTube. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, but at least I haven't seen it. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So first, I run two Rowlet. Two Dartrix, two Decidueye, and one Decidueye GX. With the ability Feather Arrow, with the ability Feather Arrow, once per turn, um, once during your turn, before you attack, you can put two damage on one of your opponent's Pokemon. So that's really good. And then the just GX attack Hollow Hunt, put three cards from your discard pile into your hand. I like using that ability a lot because of um, that combined with a lot of my trainer cards, my items specifically, is a lot of putting cards from my graveyard back into my hand or deck. So that's my Decidueye engine. I like to use Decidueye as the main, and then my Arcanine is, plays more of the support role. So we have two Growlithe, two Arcanine. For this Arcanine, I like to use the attack Firestorm, um, which is 190 damage, which attacks over a lot of, um, Pokemon, and basically I kind of, I use him when I'm struggling a little bit, and I need to get one big kill, I use him a lot. Personally, the way I play the TCG is that I like to set up my bench Pokemon, and then I'll take a couple hits, I'll take a couple prize cards, and then I'll go in and I'll just stay steady with Decidueye or even Arcanine using Firestorm to get that one kill over. So yeah, basically play it steady and then build up your bench, set it up, and then go in. More support, we got Lumantis and Lurantis GX with the Chlorocyte GX attack. This attack does 50, 50 damage times the amount of grass energies on him so i like using him basically it's kind of just if the situation goes down i don't and i haven't used a ton of my grass energies i don't really want to waste them next we have oops lugia ex 170 hp i like to use the attack arrow ball it's 20 times the um the amount of energy attached to both active pokemon so this is great if your opponent's set up so he does all the work for you and you can just do 20 times, say 20 times 500 damage, that's just for your opponent. Say you put, um, have four energies on him, that's 180. So it's a huge possible damage you can put out with Lugia GX, and that's why I use him. Also, one of my favorite, um, Lugia is one of my favorite Pokemon. Next is Tapu Lele GX. This card is the only card in here that is not considered a budget budget card or budget deck profile that I like to call this. Basically, if I didn't pull him out of my elite trainers box, I probably wouldn't use probably wouldn't be using him because he is forty to fifty dollars. So you don't have to use this card. You can use um, items such as some potions to basically um, basically compensate for not having top of Lele GX. But if you have him, use him. He's awesome. So his ability Wonder Tag, when you place Pokemon from your hand on your bench during your turn, you can you may search your deck for a supporter card, reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Also, Tapu Cure. Tapu Cure GX. Heal all damage from two of your bench Pokemon. So that's really good and uh whoa camera's falling. Um so that's really, I like I like using Tapu Lele GX. Great card. But again, if you don't have them, don't need to use them. Um, so yeah, if you have them, don't need to use them. But if you if you got them, use them. Next, we have two other uh, Pokemon. We have I run one Pincer, basically for Roof Fling, flip a coin. If heads your opponent's active Pokemon and all cards attached to it go into the hand. This sets a great way to stop an opponent from setting up 
or counteract um, one of his uh, Pokemon he's set up on. Next, we have Alolan Volpix. This card is amazing with the ability Beacon. Search your deck for up to two Pokemon, reveal them, and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Awesome to search, search two Pokemon. It's a great searcher. Um, so yeah, that is my Pokemon. And now let's go to my supporters and items. Now for my supporters, I run two Lily. Draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. And if it's your first turn, draw until you have eight. So great way to just draw cards. Um, the more the better, obviously. I run one N. Each player shuffles his or her hand into his or her deck. Then each player draws a card for each of his, of his or her prize cards remaining. So I like to use that when you have a lot of prize cards. Say it's the beginning of the duel. Or excuse me, battle. Or duel, whichever you like to call it. And you just start out. So you still have all six prize cards remaining. You put all your cards on your bench, hook them up with energies, and now you want to use N. You get it draw, um, basically, put your one card in your deck, and then you, or you don't have to put any. Alright, now for our supporter cards. First, two Lily, draw cards until you have six cards in your hand, and if it's the first turn, draw until you have eight. So this nice draw power, pretty self-explanatory. I run 1N, each player shuffles his or her hand into her de his or her deck, then each player draws a card for each of his, his or her prize cards remaining. remaining. So that's great. If you have more prize cards than cards in your hand, you kind of flip the script. Next, 1 Guzma, switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon, and if you do, switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. So like using this. In case it's a great way to it's like a free retreat also if your opponent has set up on a card on their active Pokemon you can switch this with one of their bench Pokemon that's not set up and hopefully get almost a free prize card next professor Kukui draw two cards during this turn your Pokemon's attack do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon again draw power and your attacks do more one how draw three cards Draw power. Kiawe, search your deck for up to four fire energy and attach them to one of your Pokemon. Then shuffle to your deck and your turn ends. So, um, this is great to put on your bench Pokemon, specifically Arcanine for the Firestorm attack. 190. You can get all four energies required just from that one supporter. Next. I run one Lusamine. Put any two combination of support and stadium cards from your discard pile into your hand. So since I don't run any stadiums actually, I use Lusamine for the two support for the two support cards. So next, let's go to my regular um, item trainers. I run one Big Malasada. Heal twenty damage. Next, I run. 1 Energy Recycler, shuffle 5 basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. 2 Energy Retrievals, put 2 basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. So, like some of my other trainers, um, and Decidueye's Hollow Hunt GX effect, getting cards from your graveyard back to your deck. Next, I run 2 Ultra Balls, discard, discard two cards from your hand, and if you do search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and then put it in your hand. So if you have two cards you might not need, um, search your deck for a Pokemon you do need. One, Rare Candy, choose one of your basic Pokemon and play, and if you have a Stage 2 card in your hand that evolves from that Pokemon, put that card onto the basic Pokemon to evolve it. You can't use this card during your first turn or on a basic Pokemon that was just put into play. Um, not bad. I like using rare candy just to just to evolve them. Again, setup ability. Rescue stretcher. Choose one of these effects. Put a Pokemon for a discard pile into your hand, or you can shuffle three Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck. Again, cards from the graveyard back into play. One Pokemon catcher. F Pokemon catcher. Flip a coin. If heads, switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. 
basically Guzma. Um, hopefully it's heads and you can it's the Guzma effect except you don't have to switch one of yours. Next, Rotom decks. After counting your prize cards, shuffle them into your deck, then take that many prize cards from the top of your deck and put them face down as prize cards. So, basically, if you can kind of see that your cards, your great cards, are in your prize cards and you want to switch them, great way to do it, Rotom. Aaron, two timer balls. Flip two coins for each head. Search your deck for an evolution Pokemon, reveal it, put it in your hand, and shuffle your deck. Great way to set up using Timer Ball. And lastly, for my trainers, I run three Nest Balls. Search your deck for a base Pokemon and put it onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. Again, great way if you have um, an Evolution Pokemon in your hand, you can set up using Nest Ball. Alright, and now to my Energies. For my Energies, I run three... Um, For my energies, I run seven. Yeah, it's kind of an odd number, but seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven grass energies, decidui, um, Lorantis. I run four fire energies, Arcanine. I run three psychic energies for Tapu Lele. I run four of double colorless energies. Basically, you can use on any of them. I run one of special energy um, or mystery energy. This card be, can be attached only to a psychic Pokemon. This card provides, provides psychic energy, but only while this card is attached to a psychic Pokemon. The retreat cost of the Pokemon this card is attached to is two um, colorless energies less. So, um, great card for specifically Tapu Lele, and in case he gets hurt, I can retreat him. Or he's just used as a psychic energy. And lastly, I use counter energy. This card provides colorless energy if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent, and, this, and if this card is attached to a Pokemon that isn't a GX or EX, this card provides every type of energy but only two energy at a time. So I like to use this one on Arcanine as well. So that's it for the deck profile. I hope you guys liked it. Um, I'm going to definitely be doing more Pokemon deck profiles in the future. And please comment down below what types of deck profiles you'll like to see. I'm very open to trying new and different slash strange Profiles, as you can see here, the Situa Arcanine, a pretty odd combo, but I'm very open to try, so please leave a comment down below on what you would like to see. Also, please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. Thank you.